morning, everyone. So I wanted to go over some of the things from that quick reference sheet that I put on Canvas for you for today's activity because it can get a little complicated. So I'm going to go through all of the things on this sheet for you and live demo it so that if you get confused at all, you can always open up this video and find me talking about it. Okay, so let's go through some of our tools that are over here. Okay, so if I want to create that shape that I'm asking of you, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to start with this polygon shape. Okay, one of the first things I want you to know how to do would be how to change the direction of things. So where we have those little curving arrows, that's how I can change the direction. When you hear beeping, it's because I'm getting emails. All right, so now I'm going to rotate that around. Okay, the other thing I like to do, sorry, that's my dog is change the snap grid. I'm kind of circling it with my mouse right here. If I change that to 0.1 millimeter, I get way more control over moving my shapes, okay? All right, so let's grab another shape from over here. I wanna get the cone. I'm gonna drag that close to where I need it to, okay? Now to move things up and down, I'm gonna grab that little black Christmas tree type shape. When working with Tinkercad, you really have to think all directions, okay? So I have to change my camera over here. Hopefully we've learned how to do that yesterday. And I'm working with a Mac. So the way I turn and do things might look a little bit differently than on yours if you're using a different type of computer. Now to change the size of things, if I hold down the button shift and then I grab one of these corner scales, I can control the size of everything. Okay, so I'm keeping it all to scale. Now I'm gonna move that back where it needs to be. If I want it to be a little taller, I can grab that top white box, okay? All right, now let's learn how to duplicate some things. So as long as I have the item selected, which means I just clicked on it, I can hit duplicate right here, circling it again with my mouse, and I'm going to copy whatever I just did. And it kind of just overlaps it. So I'm gonna mess with the angle a little bit, get it to line up a little bit better. Got to drop it down, change my camera view. Ooh, that's not lined up, okay. Now you'll notice I am really far away from it, so I need to move it in a little bit more. There we go, drop it down. Now the cool thing about hitting duplicate is it should memorize what you've just done. So if I hit duplicate, let's see if it does it. No, nope, it didn't, darn it. Sometimes it'll actually just repeat what you're doing and move it for you, but it didn't, what a bummer. So now I'm gonna do it again. If I move out to where it's red, I actually have even more control over my angles. Here's the fun thing with a Mac is I can just shoot stuff all the way across my screen. Move that down, drag it over, and there we go. Okay, so I do have a bit of a gap there. I'm gonna have to fix that um, in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on. All right, so next, I wanna create a hollow shape in there. Okay, but I want to get one little more decorative thing. So I'm going to add my little sphere, which is way too big. So I'm going to scale it down. Change my view. Still too big. Sorry, my dog is uh, not enjoying me talking. Move it out like that. 
Now, let's say I want to center these two things together. If I hold shift and then select two things, I can go up and I can group them right here. Okay, so this is how we group. Now, when I group it, it is going to change the color of it. So if I wanna keep my color the same, I'm gonna change it to multicolor. Okay, all right, now let's make a hole that goes all the way through this. I know that I have to change the direction of it. So I'm gonna use my rotation arrows. I'm gonna line it up and get the size correct. So now I need to scale it way down. But I wanna make it longer. Okay, let's see how I'm doing. Change my view a little bit. All right, we are going all the way through. So if I want to turn this into a hole, I can click right here, circling it again. And now it's a hole, but it's not going to actually go all the way through it unless I select the entire thing. And to do that, I just drag and held my mouse down. And now I'm gonna hit group. And you're gonna see that hole go all the way through it. Okay, so that's gonna cover pretty much everything you need to know to do this form. All right, let's just go over a couple of other things. So it does automatically save for you. If you want to get to any um, of your other designs that you've done, if you click right here where it says recent designs, that's gonna open up everything that you've done. This is where you can change the name of it. If you wanna change it to practice form, that would be good. So I'm gonna click on mine and these are all of the different things that I have under mine, okay? So if you ever wanna rework on it, maybe you didn't finish it right now, you can always hit tinker this and it will open it back up for you so that you can continue editing it, okay? Please remember when you're done to take a screenshot of it for me so that I can give you attendance for today. All right, thank you.